Miami, Florida, an exciting place to be on New Year's Day night. As again for the third time in four years, the Orange Bowl has a direct bearing on who will reign as national champion. Barry Switzer on the ropes after three, four lost seasons, and his Sooners came back for him this year. A new five-year contract, perhaps a national championship impending. Barry Switzer, an upbeat man, and so is Don James, another coaching veteran. They've never been across the field before, nor have the Washington Huskies and the Oklahoma Sooners. This is their first meeting ever. So the final moments of waiting are over for Coach Switzer, the Sooners, for Coach James, and the Huskies, and we're underway. One yard line, David Trimble, a wide receiver, breaks it for the moment, then comes out across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Gogan at right tackle weighs 290. The quarterback is a junior, uh, Dean's List pre medical student, Paul Sicaro. His wide receivers are very schooled and very excellent. Green, particularly, could be a number one draft choice in the NFL. Danny Green, Patterson runs the precise routes, they don't go to Roten that much. Sicaro at quarterback, Jacques Robinson, the tailback with 10 touchdowns in his last four games this season. Benny blocks at fullback. The Huskies come out first and 10 from their 21. Sicaro putting it up early, and it's incomplete. There is the front wall of Oklahoma. Casillas, the middle guard, one of the great players in college football, a 290-pounder, a consensus All-American. Bosworth, a redshirt freshman, but a second-team All-American at linebacker, an excellent player. The secondary is somewhat suspect against the pass. So Washington cannot throw in, and maybe they will again on second and ten. Kenny lost the handle. Washington fullback. Third down and 13. Sicaro taking the deep drop. Now he gives it off and on a draw play, tailback Jack Robinson comes straight up the middle, but back one of the dangerous return men in the country. Good punt. Well hit downfield. Drives Rhymes back. He's to his 29. And here comes Buster. Breaks it. Look out. Inside the 40, and finally Buster Ryan, who's been somewhat of a disappointment his senior season, delivers the big play for Oklahoma the first time the Sooners get the ball. Right now, the Sooners go on their first play from scrimmage. Danny Bradley with a wing step. This is the Veer offense. The play fake. Bradley with his own number takes it ahead, but not for much. You ain't got size, you ain't got nothing, they say at Oklahoma, and the offensive line averages 275. Shepard, wide receiver, a fleet one on the flank. Jackson, a great freshman at tight end. Bradley at quarter, Sewell and Tillman, the halfbacks, Lydell Carl. Consensus All-American goes down on the first play. Now, Bradley pitching back, almost a loose football, but Sewell gets it, and he's out of bounds on a second down and eight play inside the 30. Pretty well defensed by Washington. Bruce Crone is in to replace him as the uh, Sooners go third and six. Bradley dropping a good rush, and they're going to get Danny Bradley all the way back at the 48-yard line. A great play by the strong safety, Jim Rogers. They call it the Purple Rain defense. Up front, Holmes was the starter out now. Elvord and Lewis, a couple of good pass rushers. Linebackers, the strength, perhaps, of this defense. Meander and Kelly in the middle, excellent players. So small on the right outside. The secondary, Vesti Jackson, at first thrown back on the passing down, and here's Whoa. a bad snap from center, and Washington's coming in on the ball, and they get the putter, Mike Winchester. So after the big return of a Washington punt, Jim Peoples was in there to get him. So now, Washington's second possession starts on the Sooner 41-yard line. A scoreless orange ball so far. Here comes Jack Robinson on the power pitch. Cuts up field, and Jack Robinson rips it ahead. He's got 12, and a Washington first down. Oklahoma with its 13th Orange Bowl appearance. Washington here for the first time. 12 minutes left to play in the first quarter. Sekiro on a rollout. Going deep, he's got a man wide open. Danny Green, it's touchdown, Washington. Now the extra point try, the kick is up and good by Jeff Jager. And with 11.52 to play in the first quarter. The Watch this, look at the time. He's covered by the Duba player. 
Nobody near him, and Green's in the end zone on the payoff, and we'll be back with the Huskies kickoff. So we're set to kick it off again now as Jager's into the ball, a high spinner, not very deep. Buster Rhymes, who ripped off that 38-yard punt return, spins upfield, comes to the 28-yard line. David Rill in his uh, fifth linebacker now. Oklahoma with the big punt return, unable to capitalize. Now they're down 7-0 out of the Sooners in the first quarter. Bradley, great drop and a long ball. He's going for Derek Shepard, a sprinter out of Odessa, Texas. 70% of the difficulty, they say, of this offense is directly on his shoulders, and he loves it. Second down and 10 now for the Sooners. Kick back. Running with the ball is Spencer Tillman, a free football. It's out of bounds, though. It'll be inbound. You can see the two defensive down linemen. Everyone else around there, all linebackers, five of them. Now the Sooners with a long range down. Third down and a long seven, almost eight. Here's Bradley calling up the middle. Danny Bradley, elusive, but... And he might have it. It looks like he does. A great last move by Bradley. We have to wait for Bradley to commit. Bradley says it's really the defense that dictates what we can do. First and ten Sooners on the Bradley run. First back through is the fullback, and Lydell Carr takes the ball out to about the 43-yard line. <laughs> Not looking at the game, but right now, Bradley with a second and six guns the ball, and it's tipped away. They're down and six. going to be in Oklahoma. Yeah. Right tackle. Rolled behind the running of Roland Sales and blasted the Sixers, not just beat them. The has been preaching that all week. Not to forget it, here is a blitz in the safety. People got Bradley, slowed him down, and finally the kill is made by the outside linebacker, Fred Small. It's for the Huskies. People. Ooh. Coming hard, almost got to the ball. Whoa. Miles will return it from the 24. Good coverage by the Sooners. And now we come to the offensive set of the Huskies. First down and 10. They lead the game 7-0. Second back through is the eye back. Jack Robinson. There's been some early mistakes. One on coverage. Resulting in the only score of the game so far. Washington leading 7-0 on a touchdown throw. Jack Robinson. Working hard. And Robinson rips up a good gainer. For the last uh, three years. Play fake by Sicaro, big rush, he gets it away, hits his fullback, Penny, and he's across the 50-yard line and very close to yet another Washington first down. Look at this disparity, Oklahoma on the minus side in offensive yardage. First and 10, Washington Huskies from the 47 of the Sooners, Robinson. Our sweep to the short side doesn't get much. Second down and 10, no gain on the sweep, actually a slight loss on the play. Sicaro makes the draw. He's throwing to an open receiver, and again, it's Danny Green off the left flank this time, ripping ahead for a Husky first down. It's not bad at all. In every play, he's against a double or triple team. To see us in the middle over the center is a player to watch. That time, Penny, the fullback, chopped him. Penny now gets the ball on the run, and first down, he gets foot yarded. Left side of the Washington line. So far, Washington has been connecting on the blocks and on the throws. They go second and two now inside the 20. <laughs> Denny. The pullback goes hard and he's going to be close to a first down. Looks like Jack Lambert is idle. Very quick on the drop. He can also blitz. Sicaro takes a look, swings it out. Good stick by the free safety Rayburn. Washington coming in as a decided underdog and they love that role. They like to be the underdog, Don James says. It's tough to wait a month while you're considered a favorite. Jack Robinson on a first down carry. Get, got 13 yards. They really shut it down close. Not now, though, is Jack Robinson breaks it up the gun and takes it down to the one-yard line. Do the one. Long drive here from the 11th play coming up, and it could be a payoff play. Sicaro sprinting out. Throw in, look in, and the ball Ooh. is away. Uh, big down now, though. Second and goal. Jam the front, and they can't hold out the Huskies. Wow. As Washington, Jack Robinson runs it in, and all of a 
sudden. In the first quarter, the underdog Huskies from Washington have broken open this game at least early, 13-0. Now the question, is Oklahoma thinking about that national championship before they think about Washington? 68 yards a game did the Sooners give up on the average, but Washington's doing everything against the Oklahoma defense that ranks number two in the country overall. He's making it look easy. Long way to go, though. Washington, the underdog, jumping out to a surprise. 14-0 lead. Jager with the kickoff. Booms it deep. Here comes Buster Ryan. And he's got a low to speed, and he gets the open gate for the moment and takes it all the way out to the 39 or 40-yard line. That's good to see Trump. Ron yes. Holmes, the All-American, back in at left tackle. It went out. First series with a knee injury. Running back Lydell Power. Freshman fullback, and he lost the ball, and it looks like... Indeed, Ron Holmes has come up with a football. Green at the lower portion of your screen like a loaded gun. Oh, 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 oh. Defense are looking at Green, and here it goes. Green is open. He comes down with the ball, did he? No. Touchback. Touchback oh, is oh, an oh. intercepted ball. Jim Rockford, the right quarterback. You can see the fake that Jacques Robinson pulls everybody up. But watch Rockford. Once that ball gets loose, good strength, and he's got it. Out of live action, they go straight ahead. Steve Sula, halfback, takes the ball straight ahead. Washington almost a 21-0 leader in the first quarter. Sooners go now, their speed back. Spencer Tillman comes ahead, and he's got a first down for the Sooners. Uh, Oklahoma somewhere else mentally. Wow. Sooners getting back on the plus side now, though, as they go to the power run. The backers are coming up closer all the time. Look at him in tight. Play in the run. Oklahoma with... A rangy running back, Steve Sewell, weaving his way. He's now run the ball three times for 17 yards. Hand off and a lead better. And Oki from Muskogee. I've talked all week, as you know, Trump, about that 78 orange bowl in Arkansas, and it looked like it was going to happen again. Now, the Sooners are starting to blast open. They got third and just about a yard. First back through is lead better. He might have gotten just enough. Now they're starting to click off the snap and hit those big blocks as their power game starting to go. Tillman cuts up field. Good defense by the Huskies. Keith Jackson. Good block, release, and go deep. He can run. Bradley looking deep. Fires. He's got a man, and the ball is dropped by Steve Sewell. Right through his hand. Third and almost ten. Can't come down with the ball as he is leveled. And that's the end of the first quarter. So it's uh, been a 15-minute surprise so far as the underdog Huskies have been the dominant force in this 1985 Orange Bowl. They lead heavily favored Oklahoma 14 to nothing. Bowl win today over Ohio State. Now the Sooners have to punt. Winchester kicks it downfield. Miles will fair catch the Whoa. ball if he can. Been the best record for Washington since 1925, 10-1. First and 10 Huskies, they lead early in the second quarter, 14 to nothing. And up to Robinson, he's a weaver. Second down and six coming up now for the Huskies, and a marker goes down. Go live, ball, hit one ball, there, ball, he lost a linebacker. Off, yeah. Yeah. He's the head coach of Kent State, and ultimately to Washington, where he's been 10 years as the head man. Sicaro, going long. He was going for Mark Pattison. Now third and long yardage as they align both wide outs to the lower portion of your screen, the left side. Zicaro rolling out. Rose on the run. A good defensive play. And it is intercepted. They're going to green, and the ball is taken away. Jim Rockford with his second of the night. It's a live action now as the Sooners go to the run. Jerome Ledbetter, the senior fullback, takes it straight ahead and gets it down to the 25-yard line. We saw evidence earlier. For the run, they're going to Ledbetter, calling the Oki from Muskogee's number twice in a row. This was a mistake by an offensive team in a long drive. Ledbetter gets it again. They like what he's doing behind the blocking of Chuck Thomas. Actually, the tight end is flexed out wide right. Wishbone backfield. They go to Sewell very quick. He dances inside, and Sewell comes down inside the five-yard line, and now the Sooners are challenging it. That's what the coaches were saying. No matter how much you look at it on film or talk to people, you don't really experience it until you're in there and see how fast they are. This time, 11-15 to play in the first half. Ooh. 
There's a collision. This might be the rollout. Wishbone. Badly running away from trouble. Heading for the end zone. Diving in oh. Dante Bradley. Just a full gainer. Didn't get in. Well, the Sooners have to do it, trailing 14-0. Fourth down and goal from a foot away, and Bradley takes it in for an Oklahoma touchdown. Second quarter this season. Kim Lesher gets an extra point up and good. 9.47 to play in the first half of the 1985 Orange Bowl and the favorite Sooners finally get a big defensive play subsequently turn into this touchdown by Danny Bradley and it's a 14 to 7 game we'll be back in a moment Good evening. we're at the 1985 Orange Bowl game in Miami as the Sooners kick it off David Trimble sprinting back with the ball for Washington gets out to the 25 yard line the Dolphins tee off against the Steelers Right now, we're looking at Washington on offense, first and 10, leading 14-7. And the Sooners come alive on defense. And then you got to have that determination because it gets awful tough in the fourth quarter, particularly in the heat. Now they go second and 10, and Casillas gets his man, but just after he released the ball, Sigaro gets the ball to Jacques Robinson. They list him at 270. He's got to be 290 or more. Yeah. He can run. Big Tony, a wrecking ball in the middle of Sicaro. Throws downfield. 38 yards. Leland hits it again, end over end, and hits it deep. Buster on the run from the 26. Oh. To the 35. Let's see now. Bradley keeps on the spit, hits back goes, and a great defensive effort as Washington strings out the run and slams it down. Sewell a slight loss on that last one with 7.32 to play in the first half. Again, they try on a counter play to Sewell, and this time he shut down again. Things are going good. You always realize as a coach, humility's only a week away. And we've got off to a tough start, down 14-0 now. Bradley on third down, fires deep. His man was running an out pattern, Buster Rhymes, and... Hey, if Oklahoma only runs one guy in the pattern, that's going to be easy to defense. Good punt now by Winchester downfield. Ron Miles comes back with it for Washington. Out of Crimson and White there to make the knockdown at the 30-yard line. And in that one, UCLA prevailed 39 to 37. Pitch back. First down, Jack Robinson breaks it, and he's ahead for a first down crossing the 40. 6.15 to play, first half. Now we'll see what Washington goes to. Have a double wide receiver set to the right. One of them comes in motion. Danny Green, a sprinter. Counter play, and Jacques Robinson takes it right up the middle as again as the trap blocking. So Jacques Robinson's getting his yards, and Washington's controlling the ball, leading 14-7 in the second quarter. Sicaro with a rollout throw. Open. He's got his man, Danny Green, who was in the end zone early in the game. Our director, John Gonzalez, Michael Weissman, executive producer of NBC Sports, also with us as the Huskers leading 14 to 7 go to the run. And Jack Robinson, slanting across, comes inside the 30. Now let's listen to the sounds of Orange Bowl football. Soft sound with a well thrown ball to Mark Patterson. And they're overloading the left side. I was going to say, watch for the sprint draw here, but they fake it. Bang. The big D from Daryl Reed. A 14 to 7 game. Washington is in the lead and has to punt the ball. Lonzel Hill is down there. A warm, humid evening. Going to wear people down by the fourth quarter. If not already, Sewell runs the ball and Alvord, the middle guard, hits him by the Board of Regents. He was gone unless this was a big year, and it's been. Now, Bradley keeps it himself, and Danny Bradley rips it across the 30-yard line out to the 32. Seven carries for minus two, but there was those big losses early. He's gained some important yards since, including a touchdown run, and now on a first and ten play, wishbone. Here's Here we go. Bradley, deep set. 
Lost the football. It's free. Small has it for Washington. Brett Small looked like the first man there. They don't know whether to count that as a pass attempt or, yes, they're counting it as a are. pass attempt and not a fumble. They call it a fumble recovered by Oklahoma. Let's watch. Watch what happens. He, he just, just snapped, lost the handle. Yeah, just snapped right out of his hand. Brett Small, Small made it. A fantastic halftime show, as always, coming up here at the Orange Bowl. Right now, Danny Bradley looks. Nobody open. Running to the sidelines and bails out at the 30. Bradley playing the first half. Big rush. Washington's blocked five kicks this year. Milas signals for and makes a fair catch at the 46. Number two, Oklahoma on defense. Number three, Washington with the ball in a 14-7 lead. Sicaro, the Huskies quarterback, run down by Daryl Reed, a redshirt freshman. The trap block, and they've gotten some big yards, particularly with the tailback Robinson running straight ahead. Second down, almost 12. Sicaro to Patterson, he can't get to the ball. Good coverage. Green in motion, back to the line of scrimmage. Running the deep pattern now, but they go to the run, and Jack Robinson breaks it for the moment and gets inside the 45-yard line. Long field goal attempt, at least they're setting up for that. 61-yard attempt where they have the ball. Not going to even get close to the end zone. Now it did that, but it was 10 yards short of being anywhere near where it had to be, and so... First and 15, Bradley wings one up the middle, and look at this, it could go the distance. Derek Shepard is going into the end zone. <laughs> 56 yards on the final play of the first half, so we're going to go to the locker room if the extra point is good, tie. Tim Lasher will try the point after to tie the game, and he gets it. Wow. So the Huskies struck early with 14 first quarter points. Now the Sooners rally back, concluding the first half with this unbelievable 56-yard touchdown play. Now throughout the first half, Oklahoma has played very lethargic. They have the option at the beginning of the second half, Don, to take the ball. That should certainly add a little incentive to their performance. Out of the half, 14 all. Now we start the third quarter dead even as Jager kicks off the ball for Washington. Buster Rhymes, who ran it back well in the first half, will have to down this one for a touchback. Oklahoma was beaten. Turned it over five times. First play from scrimmage, and the Sooners go to the run behind the right side. Pickett and Dillingham. This is full of people. Second and five. The fake to lost ball. Football on the field. Let's see who gets it. Looks like Danny Bradley, Bradley did. Well, they've only lost one, but they put it on the ground five times. Uh, tough football to handle. A hot, humid night. Now Bradley holds down. He holds it like a loaf of bread. First and ten Sooners in this tie game early in the third quarter. First back through is the fullback. 195-pound Lydell Carp. More charisma, I suppose. Whoops, there's a movement on Oklahoma. Dead ball. Ball start. Offense. Straight wishbone. One wide out. Rhymes at the top. Now they go into a power wing. Bradley defensed and thrown down by the aforementioned Fred Small. During the week. All Pac-10 linebacker. Third and 12. There's another pitch down the middle, and it almost intercepted. They were looking again to Derek Shepard, the exact same play for the Sooners. Big rush. They almost got there. Miles was impeded with no flag. He did come up and make a fair catch, but as soon as was right in front of him, he had to run around him. Big boys lined up and ready to go. First and ten. Washington with the ball. Tied game third quarter. 1985 Orange Bowl. Handoff goes to Jack Robinson. He tips up for right where he left off in the first half with a good run. A big offensive series here. Second down and four. Robinson once again, and he rips it ahead inside the 45-yard line. And Jack Robinson, 95 for Jacques, and it's first and 10 now for Washington. Wrote in the tight end in motion, leads the blocking. Look at Robinson just weave his way, pick himself through defenders. Second down now, short yardage for the Huskies. Game is tied, 14-14. 
A little different look at the OU defense and go right back to the money. Jack Robinson breaks it. Foot race. Angle. They get him. Rayburn knocked him out of the 10. But now the Huskies are challenging Jack Robinson with 128 yards rushing early in the third quarter against the number one rushing defense in America. Bookie Jackson gets the call. Takes a full stick. The Sooners get the ball, Sonny Brown. Sophomore safety, Sonny Brown. A big play for Sonny. He stopped uh, perhaps a Washington touchdown. Now the Sooners have to move it out from their own end. And Washington's not about to let that happen. But Bradley gives it up. The Huskies built that's where they had to make the connection with Bradley. They don't this time. Pitch back. Here comes speed as Patrick Collins got the yardage at 32 now. Bradley. First down sooner. The game on Shepard's 56 yard catch to conclude the first half. Bradley getting the first touchdown. Second down and seven now for the Sooners. Throw and a catch out to the 35 yard line. It's a first down as Derek Shepard, the sophomore. He broke a slant for a 56 yard touchdown to tie the game. It's still tied 14-14. Wydell Carr, the first back through. Gets back. Boy, that is dangerous. And free ball. Jimmy Rogers comes up with the ball for Washington. Huskies just found one. First and ten now. Game still tied. Third quarter, 14-14. Jock Robinson, they got a lot of red-shirted guys looking at his number. And make the play. So Kelly is the key. Back upstairs. All right, Bill. We'll accept that. As Sicaro gets ready, pitches it back to Robinson. Gets complicated this big-time football. And nothing, nothing complicated about that. A human wrecking ball, Tony Casillas. They've done a good job for the most part against him. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Penalty marker down, Sicaro throwing on the run. Ball is caught. Motion on offense, two men in the backfield moving at the same time. We're down to 4.13 to play, third quarter. The clock starts up again. Are the Huskies ready to go third and 12. Green coming off the left flank. Running a deep pattern. Sicaro lets her rip. Nobody there. No, he had safeties who played so well for the Sooners. High kick. It's going to pin Brown back inside the 20-yard line. It'll be angled out of bounds at the 11. And it is right now with this Oklahoma team. They have to be precise on the quick handoff. This time a straight-ahead power play. Second down coming up now for Oklahoma. Still a tie game. They're not going to give Derek Shepard that slant anymore. Danny Bradley lets her rip. Buster Ryan can't get to the ball. Let's try to point him out. Washington moves. Again, they made a play on the ball. Winchester hangs it high, and Milas makes a fair catch. Well, they have a coach out there, Liddell Anderson, who's long overdue getting the recognition he deserves. He's been a great football coach, one of the most respected people in the game. Sicaro turns up field and gets the ball down to the 45-yard line. We have 2.20 to play in the third quarter, and the game tied as it was at halftime, 14-14. Robinson. Jock Robinson. Third and short. Sicaro's looking deep. And the Sooners get you. Bumble. They got it. Oklahoma sure thinks they do, and the officials concur. Kodiak there in the Freeland Crimson of Oklahoma. Long loop pass. And 
a big play by the Sooners. Steve Sewell gets it. He can break the long one. He has a 79-yard touchdown pass play to his credit this season. And off. Number two, Oklahoma with a football. The big play for the Sooners has been the slant-in pattern to sophomore Derek Shepard. It went for 56 and a touchdown. Uh, where the yards come tough inside the 10. And this will be the final play of the third quarter. So still a standoff through three quarters of play. At the end of the third quarter, the score is the Washington Huskies 14, the Oklahoma Sooners 14. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. To stop the Sooners, you've got to shut down the engine in the offense, Danny Bradley. Let's see what they do now. Second down and goal from the nine. Bradley, a quick out. And a good defensive play by Vesti Jackson, the left corner. Jackson, a freshman tight end from Little Rock, Arkansas. He's going to keep it. And he's stuck. So now Lasher, a walk-on kicker, ready to try to break the tie. Tough angle to his right. He's 7-7 seven seven at this distance. And 8 for 8. And the favorite Sooners take the lead in the game for the first time with 14.01 to play. A 22-yarder. Excellent drive the first time this half that Oklahoma's had decent offensive field position. And a flag is thrown on the Boomer Sooner scooter there for delay of game. Barry Sands, this doesn't happen in Norman. Well, it's AstroTurf and Norman that they can get out there and off a little quicker. The famed Boomer Sooner Schooner was a factor in the football game. I don't think it'll be out there again. <laughs> Switzer will get out there and hold the ring. There might be a new driver next year. That's yeah, like we, got a, we got another try at the, the field goal. Ball. Illegal procedure on the offense. So now Lasher has to unload from 42. Next time we hear that gun go off, we better check those horses. <laughs> Blocked Block by Washington. Oh, no. Another penalty marker down. An illegal procedure on the offense. Five men on the line of scrimmage. It's a climb. It's first down. Dillon looking long. Big defensive play. Mike Mantle, nothing long at Nebraska. Barry Switzer says, I'm not sure they're not the best team in the country. He said, I know we don't want to play them again. Oklahoma did beat Nebraska, though, 17-7. Hand off, and the Sooners riled up. Bonehead play. That's <laughs> right. Millen, big rush, screen pass, but he... Throw it to one of his offensive linemen, his center, Dan Ernesty. Long punt, and it'll come back now. Buster signals a fair catch, makes a diving one at the 50. Now the Sooners have the ball, though. First down and 10. Sewell working hard, and he gets... It's the first time we've got a penalty since 1965 for having the schooner on the field. Rather bizarre scene. Back to the action. And back to live action on second down and four. Straight ahead they go down to the 40-yard line. Third and short yardage. A strike at the line of scrimmage by Ron Holmes, but Lydell Carr. Steven Spielberg would be up there running that thing. I wish he wishes he invented it. Now we have Danny Bradley throwing the ball. He's sacked. He does get the ball away. We're in the fourth quarter. Don Crickey with Bob Crumpy. The 1985 Orange Bowl. The game is tied 14-14. As Bradley on second down fires. Very nearly picked up by the Huskies. They have to go through more conditioning. Right now we go to third down and ten. Bradley uh -oh. rolling, keeping, look out, Danny Bradley, and a big open field tackle by Tim People. Every year, the Orange Bowl concludes the bowl season. Every year, a spectacular game in the recent years. Sewell with a darting move, and he gets inside the 
yard line. Uh oh, we got an audible here. Nope. Third and three. Free ball. Watson hoping they have it. That's the signal from the Huskies. Looks like he was going to make it. Again, the number one team in the country at freeing the football and forcing turnovers delivers again. No, 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 no. Oklahoma. We had one signal the other way. Yes. A 35-yard field goal by Lasher. Lenny into it. He's through. Somebody grab the horses. <laughs> Not to be found. There they are. <laughs> in the corner. Anchored. Flat tires. Get the wheel off that wagon. So Oklahoma takes the lead. Lasher kicks it off now. David Trimble takes it at the two-yard line for Washington. Four ball again. Looks like Washington has it. 8-12 to play, clock running, fourth quarter. Sooners and Red lead the game 17 to 14. Millen throws, and it's over the outstretched arms of the tight end, Roten. Millen waits and throws, and the ball is taken down by Danny Green. Didn't catch that many balls this year, 29. But he's having a big concluding game of his career for the Huskies. Now they have first down. Look at this, up the middle. Straight ahead goes the fullback, Rick Finney, on a quick trap block. Buckmore fullback, Rick Finney. Washington trailing, but now challenging inside the 20. 7-10 to play in the game. Jock Robinson with the game for Jacques, but they need more right now to the Huskies as they trail 17-14. 6.30 to play in the game. Clock running. Penny. Got it once. Uh, go again. But he didn't get much on second. One's due any time. They're looking for that end zone. Hiding pattern. Patterson touchdown. Wait a minute. He come down and bound? They said he did. The arms went up. first catch of the night. Most important extra point would give them a four-point lead, which they get. And the Sooners now have to go into the end zone to win this game with 5.42 to play. That's a different 19. It was 19 Mark Patterson who caught the ball. A lot of the Huskies wear duplicate numbers. Washington in the lead. This is a fine throw by Millen. This is a 74-yard drive, 12 yards, touchdown to Patterson. His first catch of the night. Watch Barry Switzer. Come on, he's saying, what's going on out there? Jager ready to kick the ball off for Washington. Buster Rhymes, he's oh, fumbled it no. out of bounds. Oh! Oklahoma down by four in the fourth quarter, 540 to play. Ball was tipped, it's intercepted. And down to the two-yard line goes Joe Kelly. The Huskies load up the offense with a first and goal coming up from three yards away from the Sooner end zone. Too much time. So after the penalty now, Washington set to go. First and goal from the eight. There's a major league pop. So now, second down and goal comes up for the Huskies. They lead the game 21-17, 4.55 to play. Millen to Finney, and he's into the end zone. And they weren't looking for him on all of them. 
Brooks, the point is up and good. And now, with 4.48 to play, the Huskies extend their lead to 11. Just busted in. And now this whole number one scenario takes an interesting twist as Rhymes returns the kickoff. Right up the middle he goes and is finally knocked down at the 24-yard line. But they've got to start firing deep. Needing two touchdowns. And here comes Bradley to do it. Oh, and a catch, but not for much. He gets the Patrick Collins. Happy to be here and very happy to have been in the end zone a moment ago. Another throw. Oh, they oh. two. That worked before. Derek Shepard at the top of your screen. You got it, but it doesn't work. And it's very nearly a Washington football. With 4.02 to play. Gonna hit it. Good one, too. Ball is hammered downfield by Mike Winchester. Ron Miles brings it back for the Huskies, and he gets it to the 31-yard line. Right now, Washington working hard to get some votes in the final rankings. Some first-place votes as they go to the run, and Sandy takes it. Gets out across, breaks it again, and gets it to the 45-yard line. Gained 15 yards. Back now to live action, fourth quarter, first and 10, Washington. Jock Robinson weaving ahead, and he gets to the 47-yard line. And second-ranked Oklahoma. Oh, Penny breaks open again, and Rick Penny, the big power back. We see the game clock winding down close to two minutes. Pitch back. Jock Robinson gets to the 40 on first down, and that was all. They come to the 41-yard line. Second down and nine. Number one. Robinson working for yards. As we go to live action now, third down and eight. 114 to go. Pitch back to Jacques Robinson. The winning coach. Ball is snapped and putted, and it's going to go back to the Sooners one more time with 24 seconds to play. Washington 28, Oklahoma 17. Bradley. While we have a moment to thank some of the people from the Orange Bowl Committee. And in great football games, the third time in the last four years, their game has had a bearing on the national championship. Hey, that was almost a very big interception. Southern California, the victor in the end. NBC coverage of the Rose Bowl today at Pasadena. Here's the slant pattern to Buster Ryan. And the Huskies came back with two unanswered touchdowns, and it looks like that's where it'll be at the final gun. Irving Pryor, we had no chance. He or certainly lessen the achievement of the Brigham Young Cougars lining up against 13 opponents and beating them all. That's the end. The Huskies traveling in 3,000 miles hoist the victor. You hear about how well this team is coached, and we certainly saw it illustrated tonight. The Sooners were favored. The Huskies did all the good things you have to do to beat a great opponent. Washington was superbly prepared, mentally, physically. They won the fourth quarter. That's where they won the game. That's nice to watch, isn't it? Really an underdog. First time a back end opponent comes to the Orange Bowl. First meeting between these two coaches and two teams.